I, no. I, I want to talk a little bit about Jay. Like after you, uh, you, you, what you didn't show in the film was was coming back. You know, mm-hmm. like you 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 go to the big game, mm-hmm. um, you go out in the pitch, which is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It's incredible that that happens, yeah, and, it really and, is. and you get to go on the on the show and you get to talk about it. You know, when you got back to Canada, mm-hmm. huh, did it feel any different? Oh. Big time. Yeah, dude, not just your your fandom, but also just your life in Canada. Yeah, oh, it feel different. Yeah, I, it, it just like any time you leave, it should affect how you feel when you come back. And if it doesn't, that's just because you're numb and cynical. Yeah. And uh, not you specifically. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, I'm, uh, one. I'm effective when I leave the room. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Canada, just chill a second. Listen, you got to stop. <laughs> you are numb and cynical yeah. and glib. I meant to say something to you, Tom, when I walked in here, you know. I mean, you went out you of that room. You are and... history's greatest monster. <laughs> no, uh, um, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> Thank you very much. Malaise forever. Oh, yeah. right, my man. Um, no, it, it, um. It sort of, um, yeah, it's, 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 so like I said, when you go over there, it feels like you're going to your grandmother's house. Well, Scotland is Canada's grandmother. Like <laughs> our first prime minister was a Scot. Scots built and designed our country. Scots have a huge thing, a, a huge, play a huge role in our country to this day. Like I go on Wikipedia, I was curious, where do most people immigrate to Canada from? It's still the United Kingdom. Uh, like, and, and so I felt, um, I was invigorated, and I came back with a stronger sense, uh, you know, a, a renewed sense of where we came from and where we can go, and also of uh, how good we have it, and uh, that as much as we do each other's heads in, for the most part, for the most part, it's been more or less okay on the day to day here, um, and also, but what was most interesting was comparing because so I was also in Scotland right after their referendum and what was very interesting was comparing the vibe on the street um, growing up in Montreal literally being in Montreal during the 95 referendum and being in Scotland a month after they voted and having all of them tell me oh it was close it was so close 60 40 and I say you think that's close no no you know what's close 50 percent plus one mm-hmm. okay 60 40 I get that that seems close to you but that's not literally in the same house, bedroom to bedroom, neighbor to neighbor, completely diametrically opposed on a pretty important subject, right? Um, It did inform my opinions on British politics, not that I should have any to Mm -hmm. begin with. They should be forfeit considering I'm not a taxpayer, Mm -hmm. but I had my, what I thought were my opinions about Scotland and all this different stuff and and spending time over there, I'll just say it it definitely changed it. It's, you think you know something from a newspaper and then you, you know, and then you go there and you see it's, you think Celtic and Rangers is all the crying game and then you get there and it's not. Mm -hmm. Uh, And you think you know, so it's just one of these things. So, So to answer your original question, from 45 minutes ago. Uh, Yes, I was changed.